so quite a few people have been asking about a system where they're working for a UK company and living in France. And they're, so again, they're being taxed in, in England on that. So that would that be the same not call, right? That is not correct. Oh, okay. If you are living in France, working for, for a UK-based company, mm -hmm. the taxation should occur in France because the tax treaty between France and UK is very okay. clear on that one or US also. If it is a salaried employee, a, a salaried activity, for example, is always taxable the place where the work is performed. Taxation okay. has nothing to do with where the employer is based or where the salary is paid. Mm -hmm. It has to do with where the work is performed. So okay. you know that you know people can go and live in another country and they have the right to work. And we have discovered many people working on the French ground, you know, especially since the pandemic and they come and they live here and they work in France and st and continue paying in the UK. This is this is tax fraud. And the tax authorities, they know that you are living on the French ground and they will come after you uh, two or three years after. They know that if you, you have not declared an income in France or you declare late, you know, I have given you the, the deadlines. If you file late, it is 10% fine. Okay. But if they come after you, it is 40% fine yeah. plus 0.2% per month as interest on areas. So be careful those working in France for a UK employer and the employer continue, you know, withholding the income tax and pay to HMRC. This is not correct. And moreover, uh, when you are working in France for a UK-based company, that should be de declared to the tax authorities. The company should be should mm -hmm. be registered in France as a foreign company employing someone working in France. This so, is I, I mean, firstly, I think that that will be uh, a surprise to quite a few people who have written in with these questions, and it's very important that we brought that up today. But I was going to say, would a, a better option for somebody who wanted to work for a UK company but live in France, for example, that's something I do myself, but I've set up as an auto entrepreneur in France. So I've registered myself as a business or freelancer in France. And then I invoice that company who then just pay me as a, a freelancer. Would that be a situation that, because that's obviously a legal way around it, would that be something that might be an option for people like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, it means that you are no more the employee, I'm selling employee. You are in France and you are registered and you are working. But question, if this client mm -hmm. was your former employer right. in the yeah. UK, that is forbidden. That is what they call yeah. a salariat de guise. You see, these guys, you know, it, it's yeah, really, I, yes, you know, entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you set up your company and you go and find clients Normally, more than one. For yeah. more than one who have only one client as mm -hmm. an entrepreneur, they can contest. That's true, actually. Yeah, I forgot about yes. that. So actually, for somebody who was only working for that one client, which, again, in my situation, isn't the case as I work freelance for multiple different... Uh, okay, that's okay. But yeah, that's true. Obviously, if you have people. one client and that yeah. client was your former employer, that won't work. They will okay. come after you and they will come after the, the, the employer. And this is a illegal working, you know, hiring yeah. some person in France. So this is very important. You know, we have regularized yeah. situations like that for people because, um, you know, when they come after you, the fines are very, very high for the, that person and also for the company abroad. And for those often, that did um, that did yeah. write in with questions and, on those grounds, yeah. it could be a good idea to book a consultation with Eliane and uh, <laughs> she talked through this this situation because obviously that's uh, yeah you don't want to be continuing down that road.